Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to BlackCatsNetwork.com. We hope that you had a great Christmas, and it's with Christmas over at JR, that means it is time for holiday tournament action. Can't wait, can't wait. Merry Christmas to all the Black Cat Nation across the United States and the world. And the world. And the world. Welcome you here to Cesar. Uh, Boy, it's just, it's almost, it's getting to be like a homecoming, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's like, hey, we're going home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we spent a lot, a lot of time up here at Sess. There are a lot of changes, though, over the last year. Shane Gardner's gone to gone on to bigger and better things. The tournament's still here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is year number 41. 41, yeah. I went all the way back and looked at the history. This started in 1981, which would be one year after I graduated high school. <laughs> So uh, it's been a while. It's been a minute, as they say. It's been a hot minute. It's been a hot minute. Well, the Black Cats come. They've not played since a week ago, Christmas Eve, when they took on the wet, uh, Redbirds of West Frankfurt and won handily there at home. Oh, yeah. that's right. I was thinking our last game was Harrisburg, but it was actually yeah, West, it was West Frankfurt. Frankfurt. I forgot about that Saturday matinee. It's still been a long time. Yeah. The boys haven't uh, had a competitive – well, they haven't played a game since then. Uh they come in at 6-3 and three on the year, 1-0 and oh in the Black Diamond Conference. Coming against an apple knocker team that is definitely not the same team that we saw in the regional final last year. Oh, good golly, no. They were just loaded with monsters and beasts last year, size and speed. And, and uh, pretty much graduated most of that talent. Yeah. Except uh, one gentleman. Except for one gentleman, Mr. Tyler Franklin. Yeah, and uh, we were, we were kind of getting a little worried. We... Tyler didn't come out for quite a while. He was getting taped up. Had to call, had to text his aunt to make sure that he was here. Because mm -hmm. uh, we definitely want to see Tyler play today. We want to see him. Uh, what did he have? He gave a 50 point outing earlier yeah, this year? Yeah, he had a 50 point outing earlier this year. And he, he's a beast. He definitely is. 6'6, six, 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 uh, and he can play anywhere on the floor. But not a lot of support. Yeah. And, uh, so it is pretty much a pretty much a one man show. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, um, but uh, it's going to be interesting. As you see, it, the Black Cats can come out, shake off the rust, and get ready to play a Red Hill team that won handily in the first game today uh, with a running clock. Yeah, and that Red Hill team, running is, is was the operative word there. That team gets up and down, kind of swarming defense. I'd say 80% of the points they scored were uh, off fast breaks, off of steals. So, uh, yeah, this would be a good one just to stretch our leg, get back in game, uh, game mode. Uh, mentally and physically as, as best we possibly can. Uh, maybe run some different combinations out there and yeah. uh, plan I'd, to move forward. I'd say we'll probably see a lot of five for five substitution today yeah. or four for five, uh, that type of deal. Well, the coaches are having their meeting at, at center court. We're going to take a break here at work from our sponsors because we travel, JR. So people don't have to in this nasty weather today. That's right. Absolutely. And without our sponsors, uh, this wouldn't be possible. But Black Cats Network is a free service at Goreville School. If you'd like more information, please contact us on our Facebook page or email us at blackcatsnetwork at gmail.com. Or you can also contact us at info at goorevilleschools.com. We'll be back here in about six minutes after a word from our sponsors here on blackcatsnetwork.com. Who's got the largest selection of adult beverage in all of Johnson County? You'll find whatever it is you're looking for at the Oasis, conveniently located just north of Goreville on Route 37. The Oasis just recently added even more refrigeration space, as well as shelf space to increase their huge variety of just what you need to stock up for your party. In the event that they don't have what you're looking for, just ask Steve, he'll do his very best to get it for you. You'll experience quality, service, and convenience at the Oasis, a must-stop before your next adult gathering. Southern Trust Bank is the only bank in Johnson County that is locally owned and operated. If you're looking for a bank that is invested in the community, that serves local needs, and that provides service that is second to none, check out Southern Trust Bank, located in Goreville, Vianna, and Marion. Visit us at southerntrustbank.com for all your banking needs. Southern Trust Bank is FDIC insured. The Goreville News is a supporter of the Black Cats Network and exclusively covers the Goreville Black Cats Athletic Program. If you have news about Goreville, the Lake of Egypt, or surrounding area, let's tell the world and email them at contact at gorevillenews.com. 
The Goreville News, your only Goreville newspaper. This year, more than ever, make sure that you're well stocked with all of your game time munchie needs. And you can do that by shopping locally and supporting small business like the Goreville Food Market. Conveniently located in the heart of Goreville, just down from the city park, the Goreville Food Market has everything you need to make streaming your Black Cat sporting event experience a great success. The Goreville Food Market offers a full grocery experience and boasts the very best quality butcher department around that serves only fresh meat, never frozen. Open seven days a week for your convenience. Come visit the Goreville Food Market. Caitlin Parmalee, former Goreville Lady Black Cat and representative of MH Insurance Center, the winner of the 2020 IIA Agency of the Year Award, is your top choice for local independent insurance agent. With top of the industry companies at her disposal, Caitlin has the tools to help you find better rates with better coverages. Whether it's home and auto, life or health, farm or commercial insurance, Caitlin and MH Insurance Center are here to help you protect what you can't predict. Give her a call today at 618-993-5262. You'll be glad you did. Dean Harper Auction is pleased once again to sponsor the Black Cat Network. Dean Harper Auction has been in business since 1967 and does both online auctions as well as live auctions. They can help you sell your estate, household, real estate, as well as your farm. You can contact Dean Harper Auction at www.deanharperauction.com. Give Robin or Dean a call at 618-527-6500 for a no-cost consultation. Dean Harper Auction, serving Johnson County and the surrounding area, as well as supporting your Goreville Black Cats. Remember, everything sells with Harper. Looking for a getaway or a place to stay while visiting here in Southern Illinois? Give us a look at our saltwater pool house. We'd love to have you as our guest. This beautiful rental home not only includes a pool, but one-of-a-kind views over the Shawnee National Forest, breakfast or evening bonfires, and wineries and hiking just a stone's throw away. Make your stay a memorable one and visit saltwaterpoolhouse.com and book your way to peace, tranquility, and serendipity. Natasha and Tony Stern's brand new country financial office is now open in Goreville at 212 South Broadway. They're excited to be a part of the community and look forward to supporting the Black Cats. Stop by and see them for a quote or review your current coverages. You can reach Natasha or Tony at Country Financial at 618-995-2241. Deb Gardner wishes to say thank you to Steve Webb, other sponsors, and JR and Brian for making the Black Cat Network possible. She's not the only one who shares the appreciation for the ability to watch Black Cat games and events through this streaming service from afar. She also wishes to thank the caring community of Goreville and its It Takes a Village approach to supporting each other. If you happen to have any real estate needs in the state of Florida, give Deb Gardner a call at 239-784-7947 or visit SettleByTheSea.com. Wiffle Boy's Pizza is now the official pizza of the Black Cats Network. This Southern Illinois original located in the heart of downtown Goreville offers pizza, subs, salads, wings, and appetizers. You can place your order the old timey way by phone at 618-995-9433 or order online. Download the Wiffle Boys app, available through Android and iOS, and look in the Apple Store or Google Play. When you order online, you'll earn 20 reward points for every order over $15. Total 200 points and receive a $5 coupon, plus you will automatically receive a free coupon for your birthday and anniversary just for signing up. Call them now at 618-995-9433. Wiffle Boys Pizza, hometown, homegrown, and always homemade. And be sure and check out tomorrow's daily special. You can't get one today. They're closed today on Mondays. Yes, they are. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. That's right. And I know I had to remember which day of the week it was. 
Tomorrow's daily special, buy one large or extra large at regular price and get an order of cheese sticks for what, Brian? For free! Absolutely 100% free. What a deal. That's right. All right. Well, we're uh, approaching a minute here before tip-off. The buzzer's going to sound in a second. Teams are headed towards the benches. And uh, like we mentioned before, we're not really expecting no. a, a, a real competitive game. As long uh, as you can contain Tyler Franklin. Right. Tyler's going to get his points. Uh, yeah. Tyler is. Never seen a, looks like a bad ankle. Got hurt during the Vianna game is what uh, we were told by someone very close to him, his mm -hmm. aunt. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's always exciting, though, to see good talent play, no matter what the situation, situation is as far as team oh, play goes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so absolutely. we're looking forward to seeing Tyler play. And we're going to turn over to the public address announcer, Mr. Clark Lance, for the starting lineups. <laughs> Carl used to be an assistant coach at uh, Anna Jonesboro. And if you ever came to the uh, tournament team, Carl, Carl actually used to play for uh, Josh Franklin when Josh coached at Cobden. Oh, wow. Went on to play at MoBat. And uh, he played played for me in a couple, on some church league teams throughout the years and come to be good friends with him. And now he's coaching Josh's son. Yeah, it's Better a full around. circle. Going full circle. And here's uh, Clark Lance with the Goreville starting lineup. Duncan Rhodes getting the start today, Jr. for the Black Cats. Yeah, I noticed that. Mixing things up just a little bit. Which, you know, given our first ten players, it could be any five. It any could be any day. five. So you have Ian Sochek, Drake Moss, Tyler Suits, Ethan Lingle, and the aforementioned Duncan Rhodes. And Sochek to jump center against Tyler Suits. Or Tyler Suits, Tyler Franklin. <laughs> Looks like Sochek getting ready to go on a boot camp. Yeah. I love that haircut. Yeah, I love that haircut. Makes him look a little shorter, though. Yeah. Oh, and he gets the tip. The Black Cats will have the first possession here of the 31st Angels Sense of Laird Holiday Tournament. So check looking inside, doesn't see anybody. Drives over, suits will fire the three. Suits shot is up, no good. Rebound to Moss. Moss dribbles back along the baseline. Kicks it back out to Sobchek. Sobchek will fire the long three. His shot's up and in. Ian Sobchek with the first points of the Sense of Laird Tournament for the Black Cats. Full court pressure. Ball into Mitchell or Mitchell Howell. There's two Howells on the There's two Howells. Yeah, it's, an, it's, a, it's a commentator's dream come yeah, true. That's right. You get two players with the same last name. Oh, they're going to get soap check for the reach in. 
Black Hat foul on 32, Ian Sobchak. His first personal, team's first. Sobchak guarding the inbounds. Ball in the corner. Good defense by the Black Cats. Duncan Rhodes has the assignment of guarding Tyler Franklin. This will be good. He throw yeah. it over the heads of Franklin. They kick it up to Moss. Moss will fire the three. His shot is up. It's going, no. out, going to be off mark. Oh, good tip out by Duncan Rhodes, but can't handle it. I'm going to lower that view just a little bit, Mr. Turley. You're, you're good. I'm just going to lower it just a little touch. So when you swing around, it's not as high. Cobden uh, struggling to get the ball in. They finally do. Oh. Howell brings it across midcourt. Matthew Howell with the basketball. Now they're going to call Ethan Lingle for the foul. It'll be the Black Cat's second foul. Cobden's winning the foul situation. Yeah. <laughs> Three nothing on the score and two nothing on fouls. <laughs> We get the ball into Funes. Back out to Howe. Back in the corner. They're going to call for the travel. You got to put the ball on the floor before you take off. Got the quick feet. Case of the quick feet. Quick feet. 75 and sunny here inside the uh, Cesar Valier <laughs> gymnasium. gymnasium. That's right. A little right. different than outside. Yep. So check in the corner looking for Rhodes. He kicks it across court to Suits. Back to Moss. So check fires three. His shot is up. Oh, rims in and out. That was a yeah, good looking shot. Look down, right, coming right, looking right behind him here. Suits with the bat, or uh, Franklin with the basketball shuffles it down baseline. Shots too strong. Here comes Soap Check. You going all the way? He's going to challenge Franklin. Oh, nice nope. bounce pass to Duncan Rose. Yes, it was. Good job. And just a few steps for him to get to the middle of the lane made all the difference in the world. Yeah. There, it opened that lane up to the basket for Rhodes. Yes. Oh, Moss gets a pick. Good job by Moss. He was anticipating the spin by, mm -hmm. and there's a timeout by Coach Carl Schweitzer. Coach Schweitzer's not very happy. That's a 30-second timeout. We'll stay right here. So good defense there by Drake Moss. He is anticipating yeah. that spin by uh, Franklin. Well, he slides over to cut him off. That's the only way. Yeah. That's the only move he has left. He yeah. has to spin back. And uh, and this floor too. A lot of people don't realize, but if you take a look straight across, there's not a lot of room. There is not there a lot of room. There's not a lot of room between the out-of-bounds and, and the legs of the people sitting in the front row. So if you're accustomed to playing with a close, small gym like that, you can get all the way to the side and force the mm -hmm. offense a different direction. Crowd starting to file in here. Games all day today. Games all day long, Jr. Let's see. We so started. We started. Oh, we ought to fill in our bracket. Oh, yeah, that's right. Redbud won the first matchup this morning. Yep. Franklin trying to get the ball in. He kicks it up, gets it up to Funes. Funes back to Hal. Hal kicks it up. He thought about it. Hal will fire the three. His shot is up and in. Mitchell Hal, first bucket for the for the uh, Apple Knockers. 540 to go here in the first quarter. Ball over to Suits. So it's down to Lingle. Lingle fire the corner three. His shot's up and in. Ethan Lingle. Make it at 10 to 3 with 5.30 to go here in the first quarter. Boy, Franklin takes his time, don't he? Yes, he does. Very deliberate. And another steal by the Black Cats. Moss will fire the long range three. Sobchak up there, up and in. Nice job by Ian Sobchak. Nobody boxed him out. There's a steal by Sobchak. Oh, good heads up play. Yep. <laughs> Off the leg of Hal <laughs> into the hands of the Black Cats. And Moss with a pull up jumper. 14 to 3 with five minutes to go here in the first quarter. And yet another timeout by Coach Schweitzer. And that one will take a break here. You're watching the Black Cats on BlackCatsNetwork.com.
And we're back here at the 31st annual Sessler Holiday Tournament. Black Cats lead up 14 to 3. JR? Yeah. That's a lot of points in a short amount of time. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. We're not even what? <laughs> We're not even halfway through. Th yet. Not even three little over three minutes into the game. It's 14-3. 14 to 3. Black Cats uh happy to take the three-point shot and getting it off. Dropping a few. And like we were mentioning earlier, Tyler Suits unfortunately has to, or Tyler Franklin unfortunately has to inbound the basketball, which kind of takes away some of the stuff they can do offensively. In the ball, uh, Brady Bunder with the basketball gets it over to Franklin. Franklin spins, gets it back out to Bunder. Now they get it back to Franklin. Franklin drives. He's going to be fouled. He'll go line shoot two. Checking in the game there at the timeout was number 40, Zach Roberts for the Apple Knockers. Rhodes picks up his first, team's third. Franklin comes set, fires, shot is up, rattles out. Funes came out of the game for Cobb, and he's experiencing some kind of discomfort. As a matter of fact, they're walking yeah. him to the locker room. I don't know if that's injury or illness. I yeah. can't tell. It could be either one at this point. Franklin fires his shot as that one hit nothing but the bottom of the net. Cuts the lead to 14 to 4. Shot fired by Moss up and in. That's a lucky corner over there. Let's remember that as this tournament progresses for us. Yeah. We favor that corner. Bundren drives, left hand up and in off the glass. Nice job there by Brady Bundren. Yeah, nice little hesitation half court. Able them to shake Moss. There's soap check from that corner. I'm telling you, that's that our corner, lucky corner. That's a, it's a magical corner. 20 to 6. The one oh, bad to place to pick Great. up your dribble. And that ball's tipped out by Duncan Rhodes. And here comes the five for five. A clatter of catch checks in. Yep. You've got Connor Craig, Drake Buffington, Marquavian Cleaves, Evan Holm, and Cole, Cole Tripp. Tripp. Checking in for the Apple Knockers, number 11, James Eagle. They're going to decide who got who. Let's see, who's going to draw Franklin? I think that's going to be Marquavian. Marquavian, welcome to the Cesar <laughs> Holiday Tournament. tournament. You get to guard one of the best players in the tournament, buddy. Bundren with the basketball. Oh, he's looking for that lob down low, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, he's like, I got him. Good box out there by the Black Cats. Cole Tripp looking up, gets it up to Connor Craig. Craig high off the glass, can't get it. Cleaves with the rebound. Nice move by Mark Wavian. He can't finish yep. either. And ball in the hands of Franklin. We are down to 3.08 to go here in the first quarter. Ball over to uh, Roberts. Roberts drives, kicks it back out to Franklin. Franklin will fire. His shot's up no good. Rebound by Drake Buffington. Ball up to Cole Tripp. He'll challenge Franklin. Franklin oh, says, Franklin, not today. Not, not today, you Not all. today, my friend. Yeah, I can't believe they still they have, in Max Preps, I was telling JR, they have they have Tyler listed at 6'4". <laughs> If he's six, oh, four. Buffington with a big block on Franklin that time. If he's six yeah. four, that means I'm five ten. First foul on the Apple Knockers is Cole Trip will go line to shoot two. Cole Trip went down hard, made a dent in that R yeah. and Sesser under the basket. The fouls on number one, Brady Bundren, the senior, his first team's first. Two twenty eight to go here in the first quarter. Cole Trip up the line to shoot two. Trip fires, shot up and in. Yeah, first points for Black Cat 2.0. Taking in for Cobden, number 24, Tommy Quatermus, freshman. Quatermus. Quatermus? It's Quatermus, is how you say it. Is it? Quartermoose? <laughs> Quartermoose. Second shot is up and in. 22 to 6. Minute or 2.20 to go. Ball over to Hal. Hal being guarded by Tripp. Hal gets baseline, kicks it over to Matthew. Oh, Hal. Quick hand. 
the human back to flea. Franklin. Defense, 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 defense. And that's the thing about Franklin, too. You ever know, he never gets panicked. Well, that was a, a little child. panic. Yeah, but and I mean, as far as when the guy's face gardening and he's yeah. up in his grill, it's just like, you just this is no big deal. It. It's no big deal. Well, I'm sure that's the way he's guarded most games. I'm sure it is. He's I don't know if you ever get used to that. but and, and when you grow up playing against your brother, Tyler, who's now playing at, uh, you know, playing college basketball yep. and having a great season, and you kind of got to learn to be tough pretty quick <laughs> on your life. <laughs> nice pass down to Franklin. Yeah, Franklin he got up loose that time. Can you tell T Tyler doesn't still, uh, when he's running, doesn't look 100% with that ankle? Yeah. He's got it taped up, and he's got a brace on as well. So, ball down to home, then to Cleves. Cleves loses it. Oh, they're going to say it's Cobden basketball. Well, it, I think it bounced off a uh, uh, Marquavian's chest. Okay. Minute 14 to go here in the first quarter. Black Cats lead it 24 to 8. Matthew Howe with the basketball. He's directing traffic. Evan Holm on him. Talking about somebody guards you up in your grill. Mm -hmm. Franklin fires the long three shots up and out. Nice rebound by Buffington. Kicks it out to Craig. Craig over to Homie. Homie will fire the three. Off Shots the no front. good. Oh, good battle there between Franklin and Cleese. Yeah, you can Frank, tell. Franklin's can, getting a little He's really dense. getting labored. Yeah. Nice pass down to Hal. Hal travels. He steps on the end line. Turnover. And now we're getting uh, three for five. We talked about that in the beginning. Hunter Francis, Mr. Moore, and Mr. Levi Damon. And Franklin's going to take Yeah, he's going to get a breather here in the last 37 seconds. Zach Roberts checks in. Senior as well. Cat's going to work it down for one. 24 to 8. Cobman going to be happy to let him do that. Yep. Down to 20. Did you get everything you wanted for Christmas? I actually, yeah. Since we got 11 seconds to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, into home. Back out. Marquay down to four. Pull one up. Home steps back. No good. Please, please cannot tip it in. That's how we end the first quarter. Black Cats lead at 24-8. You're watching the Black Cats on BlackCatsNetwork.com. Back here at the 31st Annual Cecil Blitter Holiday Tournament. Here's J.R. Russell with a look at your first quarter scoring. First for the Cobden Apple Knockers. We've got Brady Bundren with two points. Tyler Franklin with three points. And Matthew Howell, or yeah, Matthew Howell with uh, three points. Uh, knock, the Knockers, the Apple Knockers are one for two. <laughs> one for two from the free throw line. Uh, for the Goreville Black Cats, two points for Duncan Rhodes, two points for Cleese, two points for Tripp, three points for Lingle, seven points for Drake Moss, leading all scorers Ian Sobchak with eight. The Black Cats are two for two, a perfect 100% wow. from the free throw line. Franklin checks back in for the Apple Knockers, and there's a turnover, and we'll go the other way. Black Cats have Levi Damon, Marquavian Cleves, uh, Hunter Francis, and Mr. Moore. That's the same five we had on at the end yeah. of the quarter. Oh, stolen. That was kind of a lazy pass. Yes, it was. Spin, move, gets it back out to Roberts over to Franklin. Franklin being good job by Cleves. Oh, Good hustle, Mike. Yeah. You know, that's what I really like about what Mark Quayman brings to this club. He's not afraid to get down and get no, after No, he's it. not. And there's another turnover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
We'll go the other way with 7.25 to go. Evan Moore over down to Cleves. Cleves, oh, couldn't, couldn't get the hand. No, Franklin got a hand in it and disrupted it just enough. Back over to Franklin. Franklin will fire the three. His shot's up and in. Mm -hmm. That's such a pretty shot. 24-11. Cleves with the basketball. Nice move. He's going to travel. No. Oh, we're going to call the foul. Blocking foul. Zach Roberts with the foul. I thought he traveled. But Francis to inbounds. Looks for Cleves. Gets it into home. Home drives. Gets it over to Evan Moore. Down to Levi Damon. Damon will challenge Franklin. Nice spin move. They can't quite finish. Rebound to Looking Roberts. Short on the shot. Franklin will bring it up. Hands it over to Bundren. They're getting another five for five. Back to uh, Black Cat 1.0. Another three. You got to guard that. Yeah. Great rebound by Cleves. Up in the air for it. And there's going to be a turnover. And the uh, starting five will check back in for the Black Cats. Checking in for the Apple Knockers, number 24, Tommy Quaternus, and number four, Matthew Howell. You've got to be discerning when you're, uh, <laughs> you're already down 24-11 and the starting five come back in. Yeah. Which is soap check, moss, suits, lingle, and Rhodes. Duncan Rhodes. Dandy Duncan Rhodes. Defense up a notch, you can tell already. Yeah. And there's a steal by. Soap check going to take it? No. No, good pass. Back to. Oh! Yep. I saw that coming. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Yes, if we it got would it have. Just a little high. Great attempt. Even to get a hand on that as high as that was. Over mm -hmm. him. Ball down and back to Hal. Over to Hal. Back to suit or to Franklin. Ball back over to Quaternus. A little picked up his dribble. Duncan is doing spot. a great job on Franklin. Yes, he is. There's a throw at the basket. He's starting to get a little frustrated. And he's come up a little soft there. Comes to the ball. He'll fire the ninth, 18 footer. Soap check goes. I'll take that. Pass, pass up to Sue. Oh, that would have Yeah, it would have been a good give back. It didn't turn quite enough. So check out Rainey. He did. <laughs> so check out Rainey. So check carried a lot of distance in one step. Yeah. A lot more you'd think. Funes checks back in for the Apple Knockers. Good to see him back in. Yeah. And take a little respite to the restroom. Tyler the, Franklin will take another break. The locker room. Yeah, he, he didn't look like he, like you said. I couldn't tell if it was injury or illness. It was one of the eyes. Lingle's going to get, no, oh, they stepped on the edge. Game's kind of stale. Yeah, 24-11. Franklin got a quick breather. He's back up already at the bench, ready to come back in. Ball back to Lingle. Lingle fires the three. That was the wrong corner. That was the wrong corner. He's being the other corner. Mm -hmm. 4.28 to go here in the second quarter. 24-11 favor of the Black Cats. Ball down in the corner to Bundren. Bundren brings it back out. Left hand back over to Funes. Rhodes on Funes. Back over to Quaternus. Down to Funes. Funes, there's going to be a foul on Duncan Rhodes. It's be second foul on Duncan. Well, the good thing about that foul, though, that's probably who. Well, no, I would say he's probably coming in for number 24. I about to say he might be coming in for Funes, and he missed the second free throw and keeps him out long. Yeah. Second shot is up, and no good. Nope, he's coming in for uh, coming in for Mitchell Howe. Mitchell Howe. 
4.05 to go. 13 point lead for the Black Cats. Funes fire shots up and in. Takes advantage of the free points. Back down to Moss. Moss will fire the three. Good rebound by Sochek. Taps Soak it up check. and in. Mr. Johnny on the spot. Nobody boxed him out. Boxed no. him out. No. Slash right in there. 26 to 12. 346 to go. Black Cats are giving a different look here now. Yeah. Oh, here. Oh, Sochek. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> a little aggressive to the ball yeah. on the trap. Well, he'd have been fine if, if Hal hadn't have stepped the other. He, he stepped right into him. Yeah. <laughs> and Sobchek had the steal, but Hal just kept moving instead of staying stationary. Sobchek thought they were running the 42 dive in, in football. <laughs> he steals so that one. The steal. Back to Moss. Moss gets it knocked out of bounds. Oh, they're going to say it's black or uh, Apple Knocker basketball. Black Cat's got to start converting some of these. Yeah. And, you know, this is what's hard when you do a lot of rotation. Mm -hmm. When you come back in for that Getting second wave, you got to get jump right back into that flow. Adrenaline will get you started. Yeah. Topping back in. And another turnover. Not sure that wasn't deflected. Yeah, not either. But we'll, we'll take Tyler's it. like, well, he, he hit that, right? You didn't see that? Copping in that 2 3 zone. Soap check wide open. He'll take the three. His shot's too strong. Good job by Suits. Kicks it back to Moss. Moss will fire. His shot's up and in. Drake Moss. Ends the scoring drought for the Black Cats, making it 29-12. to Been a while since we scored. Well, we Soap check had that put back two. Yeah. There's a steal. There it is. Oh! oh. Just a little behind him. Moss looks at Sobchak. He's like, man, I'm sorry. He's just a little too high, I think, on I the I think pass. he's a little too high. A little, yeah. But to go up and get that. I would have had Sobchak. to been standing on the ground, let it come to me. <laughs> yeah. And then just shot the ball up off the back. Flat-footed. Flat-footed off the backboard. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would have done. Or, you know, at least extended on my toes. Moss know. for three. No good. Good box out by Franklin. Or, uh. Lingle on Franklin. That ball's tipped around. And it's going to stay white basketball. Ooh, looks like we're going to have some halftime entertainment. It Looking does. The hallway there. It looks like they, there's they, some dancers out there. There's a dancer out there at the first game. Oh, good job. Just dive, That's how you inbound. Dives right to the hole. Nice bounce pass. 31 12, 218 to go. Here comes the trap. Good trap. Franklin will fire. Up and in. He got such good rotation on that basketball. Yep. So checks like I can do that. Maybe not. It was down. It was, yeah, he's had two that's been down and come totally back out. Here come the cats. Oh. He won. <laughs> <laughs> he knew it. Mr. Happy. Here, here, here comes the Black Cat 2.0. And that'll be Cold Trip, Marquavian Cleves, Evan Holm, Drake Buffington, and Connor Craig. Good defense. Cross court down to Hal, back to Bundren, back to Franklin. Franklin fires the three of shots. Oh, that was not friendly. No. Talking about somebody cover a lot of ground in a few steps, and that's Connor Craig. Mark Wavy to go line to shoot two after that foul by Tyler Franklin. Cup and foul on 13, Tyler Franklin. His first person. 31 15, a minute 25 to go. Mark Wavy and Cleese at the line for the first time. Only the third team foul by Cobden. Shot is up and short. Marissa Coulterville and Christopher have the next game. You can listen to that on. Uh, I forget. What, what is their call letters? I don't remember. We'll don't find know. out for you. Yeah, though. we'll find out. Because I think they have a couple more games today if you're interested. And, of course, the El Dorado Holiday Tournament's going on. The uh, uh, Duster Thomas is going on. The girls uh, start tomorrow. Uh, Centralia is going on this week. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. How's that not a five count? I don't know. It's a steal for the Cats. Connor Craig. 
four steps and he's at the other end. And he's fouled. He's fouled by Brady Bundren. He'll go line shoot two. I think that was four steps. <laughs> it wasn't yeah, very many. Yeah, from free throw line to free throw line. <laughs> it wasn't very many. His second personal. You know, we used to have the arc tracer on uh, Mr. Shoots. We might have to have the yeah. step counter <laughs> for Connor Craig. <laughs> Connor's shot is up and in, making it 32 to 15. Big shout out to all the people staying home inside today, like smart people. <laughs> JR and I out. Rose, let me just tell you the Rose. Johnson County side roads are less than. Oh, mine. Mine hadn't even been touched. I think I was only like the third person to drive on my road. <coughs> and even the Johnson County state roads were not in very good shape. Now, you get north, Williamson County. Oh, yeah. It was, they not were bad at all. No. Ball back to home. Home kicks it over to Cleves. Cleves thought oh, about it. I thought it. about it. Nice step. Good block by Franklin. That was a nice take by Marquavian. Yeah. Down to 30 seconds. Ball into Franklin. Oh, he had a wide open Funes. Over to Hal. Hal back to Franklin. Franklin will fire the 18 footer. Shots up too strong. Rebound to home after tip by Down Buffington. to 17 seconds Gets left. Gets it over to Tripp. Tripp thought about it. Back to home. Down to 12 seconds. Cleaves with the basketball. Gives it back to home. We're down to seven seconds. Triple thought about it. Buffington down low, and there's a reach reach foul by Franklin. Good good post up job yes, by Drake was. Buffington you, right good there. Good use of his body there. When you're six six and that big, you need to use that body as much as you can. And he did a great job there. Down to three point six seconds. Black Cats is unbound. Thirty two. Plenty to of time to get a good look here. Yeah. Oh, he thought about it there. Oh, a little too strong. Holmes Homie, comes up with one it. second. Fire shot is up. No good. That's how we're <laughs> in the first half. Black Cats lead it. Thirty two to fifteen. We'll be back in a moment. We'll look at your first half scoring here on BlackCatsNetwork.com. And we're back here at Cobden, or not at Cobden, we're at Sessor, same colors. <laughs> it is the same colors, yeah. And I see, I saw the apple knocker coming, yeah. so. The Black Cats lead at 32 to 15, and here's J.R. Russell who'll look at your first half scoring. First for the Cobden apple knockers, two points for Brady Bundrum, three points for Matthew Howell, one point for Aaron Funez, and nine points for Tyler Franklin. The apple knockers are a two for four, 50% from the free throw line. For the Black Cats, one point for Connor Craig, two points for Cole Tripp, two points for Marquavian Cleese, three points for Ethan Lingle, three points for Drake Moss, four points for Duncan Rhodes, and leading all scorers Ian Sopchak with 10. If he can get better passes at the goal and a little bit of timing, he'd have 16 or 18. Yeah. Black Cats went from 100% to 50%. We're three for six now from the free throw line. So a little drop in our yeah. free throw efficiency. Yeah. Little halftime entertainment today. Black Hat's already out of the locker room. They want to come check some of this out, I think. Yeah, they wanted to see the girls dance. Mm -hmm. We'll just leave it here for a moment, let uh, fans see it, what we're experiencing. So, what are some of the things that the Black Cats, now that obviously, I mean, it's, I mean, yeah. you're up 17. Yeah, and you can anticipate that this game is, you know, a foregone conclusion in terms of outcome. But like we always talk about, every opportunity you have to be on the floor in a competitive setting is an opportunity to learn. Right. An opportunity to get better. Things you need to work on. And uh, so I would hope to see, uh, I like to see them switch up from man to man to a, work on their half-court yeah. trap a little bit. Um, and that was effective. It was. It was. Not so much in steals, but it forced some turnovers. Yeah. Uh, which was big. Um, 
So I mean, whatever it is that he's got in mind, uh, Coach Strip, in terms of personnel or offenses or defenses, I mean, now's the time to work on that stuff. Right. You know, and, and like you said, it's always a, and you play against your own guys, practice and practice, and and they know what's coming. Yeah. When, when you're running a set offense, when you're running a set defense, they know what to expect. So sometimes, I mean, it's beneficial. Practice is beneficial in that aspect. But, you know, as I'm playing defense, I know the play is coming. I know that I'm jumping that passing lane because I know where you're going with that I know. pass. Exactly. Exactly. Where here you're playing, like you said, you want to take advantage of that where people don't know what you're running so you can actually execute the way it's supposed to be done. Well, I, and, and I'll, I'll preach to that. Going back to that, Cobbins sitting back in their 2-3 zone about midway through the second quarter. Mm -hmm. um, Drake Buffington sets a screen on, on Franklin in the middle and pushes him high, which leaves a wide open block. Mm -hmm. Mark Weaving just slides right in yeah. there. They get in the pass, turn around, bank shot, score. Yeah. In practice, you're not going to get that. You're not going to get that in practice. Exactly. So, um, yeah, the, you, you, what you're speaking to is exactly right. Um, you, you just got to go through the motion. Yeah. Well, Black Cats lead it 32-15. to 15. Uh, We're going to take a break, come back, and no we'll, we'll finish sharing what, what we got for Christmas. Because I know you're going to do uh, some Christmas shopping later today. Yeah. Yeah, And so, uh, but we'll talk about that. You're watching the Black Cats on blackcatsnetwork.com, a free service to Goreville School. If you like more information, contact us on our Facebook page or email us at blackcatsnetwork.com. We'll be back in about five minutes with the start of the second half here on Black Cats Network.
And we're back here at the 31st Annual Cess of Lear Holiday Tournament. I'm Brian Murley, alongside of me, as always, is Mr. J.R. Russell. J.R., so did you have a good Christmas, brother? Had a great Christmas. Had a great Christmas. I actually got to eat semi-solid food. Semi-solid food. <laughs> yeah. And those of you that don't know, my uh, Christmas present came a little bit early. It was uh, in the form of extensive dental work. And, Ex uh, yeah, so extensive. Extensive. About as extensive as you can get. So I've been on uh, soft foods since the 14th of December. Mm. And uh, actually actually fought down some mashed taters on, on for Christmas. Yeah, that's so good, Ho, man. ho, ho. Ho, me. ho, ho to you. But I, I think I'm going to pick up a new hobby. A new hobby. And it's a perfect time of year to do it. You know, every, every store, your Dollar General, your Walmart, they put all their Christmas candy on sale yeah. after, the, after the holidays. So... I think I'm going to start a candy cane collection. A candy cane collection? A candy cane collection. All different sizes and varieties. And, uh -huh. uh, now's the time to do it. I mean, it's going on sale. But I'm going to be very, very discreet in yeah. what I'm going to allow in my collection. And I nothing unless it's in mint condition. That's my Christmas joke for the day. You don't get another one until next year. That's right. It's savor the flavor right now. <laughs> Black Cats lead it 32 to 15 as we get ready to start the second half here at the 31st Annual Cecilier Holiday Tournament. It'll be Black Cats ball to start the second half. It'll be starting five for the Black Cats. You have Duncan Rhodes, Ethan Lingle, Tyler Suits, Drake Moss, and Ian Soapcheck. Moss drives, gets the lane, kicks it out to Lingle. Lingle fire from the corner, shots up and in. Okay, it's going to be everything's going to be that side of the floor. That I think, side of the floor and yeah. in the corners. We're, in the corner. I bet our shooting percentage is about seventy percent from the corners I on think, that side of the floor. I think you're probably right. And here comes that trap that you were talking about at halftime. By suits. Good effort by Moss. Stayed with it. Yeah. New is two defenders were behind him and just kind of threw it right off of him. New out of bounds play here for the Black Cats. I've oh. seen this one. I think they're getting this off the girls' team. Because mm -hmm. they normally wear that for Kendall Webb. Oh, there's a steal by Franklin. The Moss got bumped onto the yeah. foul. Franklin, Franklin he, no. Oh, he's going to pull up. Back to Howell. Howell will fire the three <laughs> and shots up. No good. Ball up to Soap Check. Soap Check against Brady Bundren. That was a horrible call. That was. That, that gets you a piece of coal in your stocking for that call. Wow. Soap check going away from the play. Yeah. Away from the rim. Called for the and player. And control. the kid flops, and you get. Wow. Hal's shot is up and in. Yeah, I just saw it here. Yeah, that was that was definitely not. He was falling. I just saw he was falling yeah. before he even made contact. But even you know, sometimes it's a positioning of the official. But he was standing right there. Yeah, I, it wasn't like. Oh, tried to fire it down to Rhodes. Rhodes tips it out. Can't get it to Lingle. It's a turnover. and We'll go the other way. Thirty-five, seventeen here with six thirty-four to go. Soap really tried to thread the needle there with yeah. that pass. No matter how much you put on, it wasn't going to get there in time. And the Black Cats in this 2-1-2 half-court trap. There's a travel by Brady Bunder. Another turnover for the Apple Knockers. Ball into Moss. Apple Knockers in that 2-1-2. Down to Rhodes. Rhodes wide open. And there again, they drew Franklin up high. Him high. You throw somebody at the high post, at the elbow, and one at the block, somebody's got to be open. Good job by the Black Cats. They get the ball down to Hal. Hal back it out. Gets it out to Franklin. Franklin cross court, tipped. So check with it again. Two on two. <coughs> Charging foul? Player control? What do you think? Oh, no? speaking of that, so you know you would think – in the NBA, you would have better officiating. I was watching. Better than. Just well, better. Just better. Okay. And so I was watching the Memphis Grizzlies and the uh, Golden State Warriors last night. I only watched the second half because we'd, we'd been watching Ethan Lingle with the basket. And so one of the Grizzlies guys grabs the jersey of a guy going to set a pick. 
Okay. Which is illegal. Which is illegal, which they called a foul on him. Oh, so check, go try go behind the back, but another steal. And anyway, Clay Thompson is probably 15 feet from the play. Because the guy was going to go set a pick for Clay's guy, and Clay was going to cut, you know. Okay. Would so you? they grab the guy setting the pick. Guess who ends up shooting the free throw? No. Uh, Clay Thompson. <laughs> they even conferred about it. <laughs> even conferred about it and still bad. had Clay Thompson shoot two. Wow. <laughs> wow. And Clay wasn't even, I mean, like I said, he was maybe 10, 15 feet from the play. Crazy. Black Cat 2.0 checking in. So looks like Soap Check got a uh, bloody nose. Yeah, he's like an elbow down here on the last double team. Yeah. <laughs> Coach Tripp's kind of. <laughs> Well, yeah, rub some dirt on it. Hey, uh, guys, we're on this end. And then there was another play. Golden State comes down, and the guy shoots the basket. They call a foul. They show the replay, and the guy is literally from me to you from the guy shooting the shot, and they call a foul. He never touched it. For those of you at home, there's a good distance between Brian and me right yeah, now. Yeah, we're about three feet. <laughs> so that call made me think of that. Huh. Ball back out top to Eagle, to Franklin. Franklin double team comes. He throws it across court to Hal. Roberts with the basketball. Good job there by the Black Cats. Ball back out to Eagle. Eagle will fire the three. His shot's up. And no good. Cleese with the rebound. Gets it out to Cole Tripp. It's a foot Cole race. Tripp. Just like he hit the uh, turbo button right there. Yeah. 43-17 with 4.13 to go here in the third quarter. Stolen by Tripp. Oh, you wanted Craig yeah. on the block. Craig's, Craig's going to fire the three from the corner. corner. Shots up and in. Connor Craig. 46-17. 3.50 to go here in the third quarter. Here comes the trap. Ball down to Franklin. Good, good job, job by Buffington. Yeah, good job by Drake. Check it in for the Apple Knockers number one, Brady Bundren. He's coming in for Mr. Eagle, James Eagle. That's a good basketball. That is a James great Eagle. basketball name. Franklin fires for 17, shot up and in. 46 to 19 with 3.34 to go. Franklin cratched double digits for the oh. day. Oh, <laughs> trip probably traveled. Probably. There's a pass. Hey, that, that cheerleader was wide open down yeah, there. Yeah, but she had her hands behind her yeah, back. Yeah, she, she wasn't was quite ready. ready to receive the ball. A little high for her, too. Look at her standing next to Franklin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About up to the top of his waist. I mean, I appreciate the fact this is a Monday morning and it's uh, it's early, mm -hmm. and, and and you look around the gym and the, the number of empty seats. This place get crazy as this week goes. Oh on. yeah, especially championship night. Oh yeah, yeah. we've both seen it. Where, oh nice, nice job. move by Cleves. Waving Cleves. You couldn't fit a tic tac in. No, there. I remember one year was I forget was it JT senior year. Yes, they played. We were playing for the championship. Woodlawn or Walton? Did. Yeah, I think Woodlawn. Woodlawn. Mm -hmm. Doors opened at 6. There was a line outside at 5 o'clock. Oh, well, those of us got the press pass. Yeah. <laughs> and got it a little early. We recognize that. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. Yeah. And we'll do that today, too. They have like, technically a morning session and an afternoon or evening session. And then they'll usher everybody out so they can clean up and then get stuff done and then reopen the doors. Tyler Franklin shot. <laughs> Funes is leaving Franklin hanging. <laughs> Good rebound by Cleves. Cleves gets it out to Craig. Craig looking to push. Kicks it out to home. Home fires from the corner. Boy. Shot up and in. It's that corner, brother. It's that corner, and Evan Holmes scraped the ceiling. I think he scraped that banner. That I think so. It's, it's still moving up there. there. It's, it's it's waving. 
Here comes another four. So, so would this be, since it's not a full sub out, Cleves, nice job. Would this be, since there's four, would be this be Black Cats 2.8 because it's four fifths? Four fifths, there you go. I'll give that to you. Craig with the steal. Oh, and nobody there. So checking in for the Black Cats, you have Levi Damon, Tyler Suits, uh, Hunter Francis, and Evan Moore. Who's going to stay out there? Buffington's going to stay Buffington's going to stay. Got two big men. I'm saying that ball was deflected. It's going to stay with the Black Cats. Ball gets into Suits. Suits drive stay. Oh, nice pass to Buffington. Great assist there by Tyler yes, Suits. it was. Suits smiling as he goes down. <laughs> Look at it, Coach. Black Cats now on a 2-3. Oh, they're going to get Tyler for the foul. 55-20, minute 54 to go here. And at 53 to go. It'll be continuous clock, fourth quarter. That ball's deflected. I'm telling you, if you're in that front row over there. you got to stay you, awake. You cannot fall asleep. No, you can't. You cannot be on your phone. You can't be glancing at your program. Shots up by Hal. Up and in, making it 55-23. This second three on the day. Suits. Drives. Nice Stripped. defense by Funes. Yes, it was. Cobden had numbers, but Brady Bundren kicks it up. Kicks it over to Hal. Back to Funes. Oh, the one dribble to nowhere. Nice lefty by Brady Bundren up and in, making it 55-25. Minute three to go. Ball down in the corner. They get it down to Buffington. Buffington spins. Oh, too strong. Levi Damon's there to clean up his mess. Levi Damon. Mr. Levi. Man with the plan. Ball over to Funes. Over to Hal. Back to Hal. Down to 35 seconds. Shot fired by Hal. That one is high arcing. Good rebound by Hunter Francis. We're down to 27 seconds. Francis kicks it up to Suits. Suits in the corner. He drives. Evan Moore is there to pick it up. Now they get back down to Buffington. Oh, Buffington was trying to get the nifty yes, assist. Yes, he was. He had the mismatch down there. Oh, there's going to be a foul on Suits. <clears throat> That'll send Brady Bundren to the line to shoot two. 10.4 to go. 57-25. Bundren shot is up and in. Eyeballing a continuous clock situation here in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Which we anticipated. No surprises there. Second shot is up and in. 27-57, oh. six seconds. Suit shot up and no good. Into the hands of Francis. Oh, did you see him muscle his way for position? Good Little job by Hunter Francis. Francis. That's how we end the third quarter. It's 57-27. You're watching the Black Cats on BlackCatsNetwork.com. Back here at the 31st Annual Cesar Holiday Tournament. Black Cats lead at 57-27. Here's J.R. Russell. Look at your third quarter scoring. For the Apple Knockers, Aaron Cunha is at the one point. Six points for Matthew Howell. Six points for Beatty Brundant. Beatty Brady. Beatty Brady. 
Brady Bundren, and 12 points for Tyler Franklin. The Apple Knockers are 5 of 8 from the free throw line. 63%. For the Black Cats, three points for Drake. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not right. Let's try 10. <laughs> 10 for Drake Moss. I can't add. 10 for Drake Moss. We've got, oh man, I have totally messed this up. 10 points for Ethan Lingle. Three points for Kevin Holm, four points for Cole Tripp, two points for Drake Buffington, one point for Connor for Craig, 10 points for Ian Sopchak, leading all scores are for the Black Cats, and six for McCravey and Cleese. Two points for Levi Damon, six for Duncan Rose, and who got that? Tyler Suits. Two, really. Tyler Suits with two more, making it 59 27. Time their first points of the day. Yeah. Play some great defense, have some nice assists. Ball back over to Franklin. Franklin gets it down low. Back to Franklin. He'll fire the long range three up and, oh, I thought that was in. Mm hmm. Here come the Cats. Evan Moore. Kicks it back out to Buffington. Buffington down to Levi Damon. Back to Hunter Francis from the corner. Shots up, no good. Good rebound by Buffington. Finds a cutting Hunter Francis. He was Great eyeballing. pass by Drake Buffington. He looked him to the basket. Yeah. He's like, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. I got it. I got it. And then what, what was the greatest thing there about that pass? He never brought the ball down below never his head. Never brought it down. Hunter's like, oh, Olu. We got one's calling a jump ball, one's calling a foul. And the foul will override. Checking in for the Apple Knockers, Tommy Clotermus and number 40, Zach Roberts. Black Cats will play tomorrow at 10.30 against the Red Bud. The Musketeers. Musketeers. I'm going to I'm gonna have to look up that, uh, download that image. Definitely more than three of them, too. Yeah. The fires, that shot is partially blocked. Run down by... Suits up to Evan Moore. Evan Moore lays it up and in. That means every black cat on the floor has scored today. That's awesome. That is. That is. That's great. Share the wealth. Connor Craig getting ready to check back in. Bundren fires. Shots short. Tipped out into the hands of Hal. Back to Bundren. Franklin drives. <laughs> Levi, Levi Davis, like, <laughs> tried to wrap him up. <laughs> yeah, Tyler came up a little limpy on that one. Connor Craig checks in as well as James Eagle. And that's probably a smart move by Coach Schweitzer. Get Tyler out there for something yeah, not crazy. A game of no consequence. All you're going to do is pad some stats. And yeah. Keep him healthy. He's nursing an injury anyway, so. Shot up by Hal. No good. Good rebound by Craig. Craig's already at half court. <laughs> Francis fires. Up and in. Hunter Francis. 66-27. Again, it's that side and that it's corner. It's that side. Yeah, the far side. Ball over to Eagle, back out to Bundren. Good ball movement there by the. Yeah. That's a make, young squad the out there. the defense work. Eagle, no good. Rebound by Levi Damon. Oh, that's a little strong, but Evan, Evan Moore chases it down. Back to Hunter Francis. Over to Connor Craig. He'll fire the three from the corner. That one's too strong. Good rebound by Levi. Lays it up and in. 68-27, 413 to go here in the, in the game. At the conclusion of this game, we'll take a small break here. A word from our sponsors and come back with a quick wrap-up. And uh, then we'll get out of our way here for our uh, – it's going to be on Evan Moore. Next uh, broadcast team to come in as they'll be bringing the Marissa Coulterville and the Christopher Bearcats game on the radio. We should have Richard what letters are. So we can let people know if they actually want – I'll ask him right now. Ask him right now, Jerry. I'll mute you. Rebound by Damon. He gets it up to uh, Connor Craig. 
WHCO. WHCO. You can follow the next ball game on there on your radio dial. I'm not sure what number it is. Ball down low to Levi. Levi. One handed. Oh, oh, and it rolls out. Buffington can't finish. Levi with the reverse can't finish. Levi just kills that guy <laughs> as he slams him into the cheerleaders. It's a wedge. Zach Roberts goes, goes flying into the corner. And the girls are like, you just got your sweat all over my legs. Black hat foul on 44, Levi Damon. His second personal, team's eight. Get my commercials ready. Zach Roberts at the line. The clock continues to count. We're down to 225. The biggest man on the court, Hunter Francis, rips down the rebound. Levi Damon can't oh. finish. As the clock continues to run at 206, Levi Damon will go line to shoot two. Sixty-eight twenty-seven minute fifty-six to go. Levi's shot is up too strong. <laughs> Levi comes set. Levi fires. Shot too strong. Rebound to Hal. Well, that's not going to help our percentage at all. No. First, we only shot eight free throws all day. Oh, that's not very many. But we've only made three. Oh. That's really not very many. 38%. That's brutal. There's a foul by Hunter Francis. We may finish this thing at the free throw line. 27, 68. In favor of the Black Cats, a minute 14 to go. 68, 27. Free throw from. Man, that, these guys have got some arch. Yes, they do. They get the ball up in the air. Can it can't accuse most of these kids of shooting a flat shot. <laughs> Black cast is going to play catch. Gonna hey, while we got it here, I do need to tell you about the Christmas sweater I got. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about any rim shot or anything. But yeah, yeah, I got a. It was really nice. I liked it. It fit. It was warm, but it was just had so much static electricity in it. And no matter what I did, I couldn't get the static electricity out of you it. You couldn't get the static electricity? That doesn't sound like a very pleasant sweater. Well, this morning before the ball game, we stopped by the mall, and I took it back, and they gave me another one. And this one was free of charge. Oh, my god! Breakaway goodness. layup there. Matthew Howell. <laughs> by Matthew Howell. <laughs> 15 seconds and running. It's the best I can come up with those running clock situations yeah. in the ball game. We're just going to watch them dribble out here. 68-29. That's how we'll end. We're going to hear a word from our sponsors. You're watching the Black Cats on BlackCatsNetwork.com. Who's got the largest selection of adult beverage in all of Johnson County? You'll find whatever it is you're looking for at the Oasis, conveniently located just north of Goreville on Route 37. The Oasis just recently added even more refrigeration space as well as shelf space to increase their huge variety of just what you need to stock up for your party. In the event that they don't have what you're looking for, just ask Steve. He'll do his very best to get it for you. You'll experience quality, service, and convenience at the Oasis, a must-stop before your next adult gathering. Southern Trust Bank is the only bank in Johnson County that is locally owned and operated. If you're looking for a bank that is invested in the community, that serves local needs, and that provides service that is second to none, check out Southern Trust Bank, located in Goreville, Vianna, and Marion. Visit us at southerntrustbank.com for all your banking needs. Southern Trust Bank is FDIC insured. The Goreville News is a supporter of the Black Cats Network and exclusively covers the Goreville Black Cats Athletic Program. If you have news about Goreville, the Lake of Egypt, or surrounding area, let's tell the world and email them at contact at gorevillenews.com. The Goreville News, your only Goreville newspaper. This year, more than ever, make sure that you're well stocked with all of your game time munchie needs. And you can do that by shopping locally and supporting small business, like the Goreville Food Market. 
Conveniently located in the heart of Goreville, just down from the city park, the Goreville Food Market has everything you need to make streaming your Black Cat sporting event experience a great success. The Goreville Food Market offers a full grocery experience and boasts the very best quality butcher department around that serves only fresh meat, never frozen. Open seven days a week for your convenience. Come visit the Goreville Food Market. Caitlin Parmalee, former Goreville Lady Black Cat and representative of MH Insurance Center, the winner of the 2020 IIA Agency of the Year Award, is your top choice for local independent insurance agent. With top of the industry companies at her disposal, Caitlin has the tools to help you find better rates with better coverages. Whether it's home and auto, life or health, farm or commercial insurance, Caitlin and MH Insurance Center are here to help you protect what you can't predict. Give her a call today at 618-993-5262. You'll be glad you did. Dean Harper Auction is pleased once again to sponsor the Black Cat Network. Dean Harper Auction has been in business since 1967 and does both online auctions as well as live auctions. They can help you sell your estate, household, real estate, as well as your farm. You can contact Dean Harper Auction at www.deanharperauction.com. Give Robin or Dean a call at 618-527-6500 for a no-cost consultation. Dean Harper Auction, serving Johnson County and the surrounding area as well as supporting your Goreville Black Cats. Remember, everything sells with Harper. Looking for a getaway or a place to stay while visiting here in Southern Illinois? Give us a look at our saltwater pool house. Love to have you as our guest. This beautiful rental home not only includes a pool, but one-of-a-kind views over the Shawnee National Forest, breakfast or evening bonfires, and wineries and hiking just a stone's throw away. Make your stay a memorable one and visit saltwaterpoolhouse.com and book your way to peace, tranquility, and serendipity. Natasha and Tony Stern's brand new country financial office is now open in Goreville at 212 South Broadway. They're excited to be a part of the community and look forward to supporting the Black Cats. Stop by and see them for a quote or review your current coverages. You can reach Natasha or Tony at Country Financial at 618-995-2241. Deb Gardner wishes to say thank you to Steve Webb, other sponsors, and JR and Brian for making the Black Cat Network possible. She's not the only one who shares the appreciation for the ability to watch Black Cat games and events through this streaming service from afar. She also wishes to thank the caring community of Goreville and its It Takes a Village approach to supporting each other. If you happen to have any real estate needs in the state of Florida, give Deb Gardner a call at 239-784-7947 or visit SettleByTheSea.com. Wiffle Boy's Pizza is now the official pizza of the Black Cats Network. This Southern Illinois original located in the heart of downtown Goreville offers pizza, subs, salads, wings, and appetizers. You can place your order the old timey way by phone at 618 995 order online. Download the Wiffle Boys app, available through Android and iOS, and look in the Apple Store or Google Play. When you order online, you'll earn 20 reward points for every order over $15. Total 200 points and receive a $5 coupon, plus you will automatically receive a free coupon for your birthday and anniversary just for signing up. Call them now at 618-995-9433. Wiffle Boys Pizza, hometown, homegrown, and always homemade. Always homemade. Don't forget to check out tomorrow's daily special. Where am I at? Tuesday, buy one large or extra large at regular price, and you can get an order of cheese sticks for free. free. Black Cats take it down, 68-29, advance to the second round here at the Sessler Holiday Tournament where they'll take on the Red Bud Musketeers, and here's J.R. Russell to look at your final scoring. Uh, first for the app, the Cobden Apple Knockers, six points for Brady Bunder and eight points for Matthew Howell. One point for uh, Aaron Funes and 12 points for Tyler Franklin. 
to get a deep breath before I run down the Black Cat scoring because everybody scored today. Everybody uh, scored. Duncan Rose with six points. Levi Damon with four points. Six points for Merquavy and Cleese. Five points for Hunter Francis. Ten points for Ian Soapcheck. One point for Connor Craig. Two points for uh, Drake Buffington. Two points for Evan Moore. Two points for Tyler Suits. Four points for Cole Tripp. Three points for Evan Holm, 10 points for Ethan Lingle, and 10 points for Drake Moss and a partridge in a pear tree. Yes, it's a great for the Yeah, 37 and a half. Uh, good. So Black Cats return tomorrow, 10-30 matchup. Uh, Black Cats are seeded number five in this tournament, Red Button number four. four. It should and be a good matchup. It should be a good matchup. Got a chance to watch them play this morning against a uh, – they were definitely overmatched against yeah. a Thompsonville team. But uh, – yeah, they got some weapons. They do. Uh, they're nothing exceptional about yep. them size-wise or anything like that. But they, they look to have some, some bodies and some little depth on the bench. And uh, they like to play some pressure defense, get out and run. Yeah. That, that's Which our game. Good. That's our game. That'll be you a fun bet. game. You betcha. We'll be on the air tomorrow about uh, 15 minutes prior to game time. Should be around 10.20 or so, 10.15. Uh, and uh, we thank you all for one, joining us today here on Black Cats Network. Black Cats Network is a free service at Corville School. If you'd like more information, contact us on our Facebook page or email us at blackcatsnetwork at gmail.com or reach out to us at info at goreville For Brian Murley and J.R. Russell. <laughs>